Hey there, long time no see. I'm actually doing my favorites of 2015 today, and I know I'm a little late, um, like uploading this, getting this going, but in my defense, I'm gonna play this card. I had emergency surgery on January 2nd, so I wanted to film it sooner, but I couldn't. Um, I'm fine, by the way, but I'm just gonna jump to this video because it's gonna be super long as it is. I am incapable of cutting things down any more than this. I only have one blush. One blush favorite for all of 2015. That's an accomplishment. I have a box full of stuff to talk about today. And I'm currently freezing. So um, we're gonna make things a little casual, a little cash. And I'm gonna curl up with the blanket as um, I'm incapable of starting a fire in the fireplace by myself. So I have to wait till my boyfriend gets home. Until then, we'll be comfy. No, no one minds. So, where do I start? <laughs> ah. These babies right here, holy grails, that is, oh my jeez. So, I have the dry shampoo and the hairspray from Dove. And the hairspray is Style and Care Flexible Hold Hairspray. So, it's the flexible hold that I like. I've never tried the extra strength hold or whatever it's called. It's really the flexible hold. Um, first of all, this stuff smells so good. And I always put this in my hair, the hairspray, after curling my hair to make sure that my hair retains the curl because my hair has problems with that. And it does the job and doesn't feel sticky and gross. And then the dry shampoo is better than Batiste. I said it. I said it. Moving along. As for a body favorite, I'm in love with the NYX um, Gamage Corps Fonda. That's right. I speak French. It's the melting body scrub. So this has, it's with almond and orange flower petals, botanical exfoliants. It exfoliates, exfoliates and smooths. So it's just uh, an amazing smelling exfoliant, which leaves your skin feeling so, so, so soft. This is something that I had a sample, took the sample home, tried it out, and the very next day I bought it. And that's not something I normally do, even with makeup. I'm not that much of an impulse buyer. I tend to think about things a long time before buying them. So the fact that I bought an exfoliant like that, it's awesome. So for skincare, I have two um, like makeup removers that are drugstore, and I have to say they're really, really good. So to start with the actual makeup remover, this is the Garnier 2-in-1 Eye Makeup Remover. So it says it removes waterproof makeup and protects lashes. So I don't know if it really protects your lashes, but it does remove makeup really, really well. Um, so it's like one of the by phase sort of things that you need to shake up because it's like the oil and the, like the water separate. Um, and it takes off waterproof makeup like super easy. It I personally can compare it to the Lancome one. And the Lancome makeup remover is amazing. And then the cleansing water, the Eau Micellar that I love is the simple uh, cleansing water. This is like my fifth thing of this. I I'm really lazy and don't really like to wash my face that often. <laughs> uh, like I always wash my face when I'm in the shower. That's where I keep like my face wash. But I tend to do this little cotton pad to take off my makeup and it works great and it just leaves your skin feeling normal. So no greasy feel, nothing like that. Super comparable to the Bioderma. I think, I think I like it better. And it's like $9.99, so super cheap. More face stuff, makeup remover items. These wipes are incredible. So these are the Bourjois Express Cleansing Wipes and uh, they're really, really good. And these makeup wipes take off like everything. I don't, I mean, not that they're super expensive. I, they're like $12 for 24 wipes. So it's comparable to other brands. It's just I don't tend to use makeup wipes unless I'm wearing like a lot of makeup. So I have lipstick, I've got eye makeup on, like eyeshadow and like liner and stuff, then I'll use the makeup wipe. If not, then I just use makeup remover and cleansing water. Um, it's just with a makeup wipe, because when you use uh, makeup remover and cleansing water, you go in with like a whole bunch of different like cotton pads. Like one cotton pad is not gonna take it off. So I wait till I have a lot of junk on my face before I use these. And I like them. Face mask of the year, face mask of the century is this one here from, so here's the thing. The brand is French, Quebecois. And therefore, in French, the letter I is actually pronounced E. It's very confusing. So the brand's EDC, but if you're English, then it's IDC, but I never say IDC because it's a French brand. So it's the EDC uh, Mask Trilogy. 
trilogy mask. Anyways, this is going to exfoliate your skin. So you put it on after, I take it off after like seven minutes. Uh, when you take it off, you add a little bit of water and like really exfoliate the skin and it's gonna do just wonders. Your skin's going to look super, super bright afterwards and just all around amazing. I've actually posted about this on Instagram before. I love it. Last skincare favorite are these under eye patches from Clorin. When you put them on, under your eyes just feel so smooth and hydrated that I feel like they definitely make a difference in my beauty routine. First time I got these was actually in my Ipsy bag and then I went on a hunt to find them. For nails, I have been loving the Vitri um, repairing like nail polish. It really helps to I have a lot of cracks in my nails because I decided to put on fake nails. I don't know why. Never again. Um, so my, my nails are super, super weak right now, which is why I'm not wearing any nail polish. Um, this stuff really, really helps them. It's going to help your nails look brighter, the white part more white. It's going to help them grow faster. It's going to help with any of those little ridges, all that stuff. So nail polish of the year. This is really hard to pick a color that I generally love throughout like every season and every month and that would have to be birthday suit from the Sally Hansen miracle gel um, so this is the gel that you don't need a lamp with and you apply it with like the top coat well, I always apply it with the top coat anyways and this color is the perfect nude so it's perfect for all the time okay on to makeup Whew. this video is already way too long <laughs> So I've used a lot of different foundations this year, but when I really thought of which one would have been my favorite, it would have to be this one from CoverGirl, so Drugstore, which is always fun. This is the Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. Um, I really, really liked it. The finish was natural, the coverage was nice, and it's not expensive. Not to mention there's a pretty wide selection of, wide selection of colors for the most part. There aren't very many darker shades, but there are a ton of lighter shades. Like the difference between the first like six shades are like a tiny little bit. So you're really able to find like the perfect shade. The Holy Grail of powders would have to be the Cover FX Pressed Mineral Foundation. This is the shade N20. Um, I've also used, I think N30 in the summer, G30, I can't remember now. Um, but these powders are great. And I've heard them compared to the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes, so. Yeah. Okay, so bronzer, blush, highlight, we're going to get this out really fast because this video is going to be 500,000 hours long. Um, we've got the Hoola from Benefit Bronzer. Ah, I don't need to say anything about it. It's awesome. You can bronze, you can contour. It's matte. It's great. Blush of the year. It's the blush that I reached for the most. I love the blush. I do love the color. But when I would think like, oh, what's my favorite blush? I wouldn't have thought it would be this because it's just the it's the perfect everyday blush but then when I realized that's exactly it it's the perfect everyday blush it's what I reach for every day so it's the Rocketeur blush from Benefit I am wearing it today and then my favorite highlight of the year it is not what I'm wearing today but it would have to be the uh, Lise Woodsy Aurora highlight so it was from a it's the Aurora Celestial light powder so it was from a limited edition collection but it's absolutely stunning it's amazing. One of my colleagues, one of my friends, um, bought this and she already like, she's finished it. She hit pan, which I think is pretty amazing. Uh, but she did get a backup one. I did not get a backup one, so I need to be careful. I have, I have three favorite brushes. So my favorite brush to apply my CoverFX powder would have to be this one from It Cosmetics, it's the Kabuki brush. So soft, so perfect. And then I have two favorite Lee's with C brushes. Now Lee's with C brushes weren't anything special to me I don't know I wasn't like whoo these was your brushes but they recently came out with a new foundation brush which is incredible impeccable perfect and then they had this one here which was is limited edition I'm not sure it's, if it's still available for sale so the foundation brush awesome and then this baby right here this is for like contouring and highlighting so I use this to bronze my face see how it's like don't oh, so nice and then this side to highlight the cheekbones Let's talk about lips, baby. Let's talk about you and me. I really should not sing on camera. Um, lip favorites? I couldn't narrow it down. I tried really hard and I just couldn't. So number one favorite for red lipstick, Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Beso. It's all over my Instagram. I love this stuff. Then also Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is the mini one. It will be available for full size soon, but I got it in like the little Christmas set. This is the color Rico, and it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's like the perfect burgundy. 
ever. Awesome. And these lipsticks do stay all day. Another matte lipstick. This is the ColourPop lipstick in the color Kapow. So it looks a lot more like brown, but it goes on the lips more grayish. Like it's like a dark like grayish on the lips. I have a few pictures on my Instagram. And then we've got Kat Von D lipstick in Witches. Yes, it's black. Yes, I love it. <laughs> um, it's just a black liquid lipstick. And normally when I use this, I do this like black and then I ombre it to like maybe this color in the center of my lips kind of thing. Like a black to burgundy, a black to red, black to purple. Normally, just because when I do my lips completely black, it's not always the look I want to go for. Um, my parents think I'm crazy that I wear black lipstick. But I don't care. Okay, another liquid lipstick, of course, would have to be the Lise Wetsie Fashion Kiss in like the Velour line. And it's an awesome um, like burgundy color. Not the same as this. It's more red and not as matte. So this is, uh, yeah, it doesn't dry as matte, so it's not as drying on the lips. And then a lipstick that isn't matte, the only one that I'm going to talk about, is the Lise Wetsie Fondant lipstick in the color Sandra. So it's just a really nice, on your hand, it's going to look a bit more like red pink, but on the lips, it's almost like your lips, but better. It gives you just like a little bit of color. As for mascara, the mascara that I've reached for consecutively, like throughout the entire year, has been the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit. This stuff's pretty exceptional. Um, it's really going to help curl your lashes. It's going to help them stay up, stay defined, separated. Uh, lately, I've been going for more thicker, more volumized. So I haven't been using this the past like month and a half. But for the rest of 2015, this was my go-to. And I would still say it's a holy grail. It's up there. When I finish this, I'm going to buy another one. Hands down, it's awesome. Actually, I have some more Benefit products to talk about. Um, as soon as this came out, I fell in love with it, and I use it all the time. This is the Benefit Air Patrol CC um, Eyeshadow, no, Eyelid Primer. CC Eyelid Primer, yeah. It has an SPF of, it's either 10 or 15, I can't quite remember. So it's gonna really protect your eyelids. It's going to soothe them. So if you have eyelids that get irritated easily, this is gonna soothe them. It's gonna help your eyeshadow stay all day. And it is tinted yellow, um, so it, it's gonna like color correct for people who get redness. The eyeliner that I use the most, the most, the eyeliner that I used the most throughout 2015 would have been the Benefit Their Real Push Up Liner. Um, there's a ton of pictures on my Instagram this summer of me wearing this. So it's just an awesome black liner. Brows. Brows Beyond Fleek. Brows Beyond Point. 2015 was the year of eyebrows. And um, my favorite product would have product. Product. My favorite brow product is the NYX Eyebrow Gel. And it, this one is in the color chocolate. And it is what I'm wearing on my eyebrows right now. It's awesome. It fills them in. It makes them stay in place. And it doesn't budge. So, brows on fleek, girl. Palette of the year for me would have to be my Stila palette in spirit. So, seen better days. I dropped it and it, it kind of broke. Um, the, like, thing broke a little bit. There's a color here that broke. I don't even remember what it was, but I know I didn't use it a lot, so it's no big deal. This broke a little bit. Don't use that one that much either. The ones that I use the most are clearly this one right here. Then we've got Kitten, which has got quite a dent taken out of it. So these three, and that to one, and then that one right there. Uh, yeah, it's the palette that I reached for throughout the year. The pigmentation is awesome. Um, it doesn't have too much fallout, and it's pretty great. Just all around. Just a good thing. Just a really, really good thing. <laughs> okay, 20 minutes later, that's it. Those were all of my favorites for 2015. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty exhausted now. Holy moly, that took a lot out of me. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.